Emergency medical responders enter a house in East Dagon in Yangon. By the doorway, a middle-aged man sits as if he just dozed off to sleep. In a bedroom, an older man, his father, lies unmoving on the bed. Both men are dead, suspected victims of COVID-19 as it spreads unchecked across Myanmar. Elsewhere in Myanmar's largest city, they've been queuing through the night to refill oxygen canisters. Most have to risk breaking the military-imposed curfew to get in line, with a wait of at least 12 hours ahead of them. For some, it's too long. My sister has been suffering from COVID-19 for three days, but while I was queuing to fill the oxygen tank this morning, my niece called me to come home, as my sister had died because she ran out of oxygen. Now the pandemic has claimed the life of a senior NLD politician, Nian Win, A spokesman and legal advisor to Aung San Suu Kyi's party, he was jailed by the military following the coup. After contracting COVID-19 in prison, he died in hospital on Tuesday night. Even getting help to those who need it is hard. Natty used to live in Yangon. Now she's trying to raise funds for oxygen and aid to send back from neighboring Thailand. From the reports she's getting from inside Myanmar, the official death toll of several hundred people a day is a gross underestimate. The volunteers and the ambulance people said that only in Yangon alone, six to eight hundred people died uh, every day since last week. So, of course, the number that we see from the official um, channel of the government, uh, the military government, is not really reliable. Across Southeast Asia, nations are being overwhelmed by COVID-19 as the Delta variant sweeps across the region. But nowhere are the defences weaker than in Myanmar, where those charged with fighting the pandemic have been arrested by the military. No social distancing at this Yangon crematorium for the living or the dead. Bodies stacked, waiting for the furnace, relatives waiting to get to the front of the queue. Ambulances empty of their patients and a smokestack billowing black smoke. Tony Cheng, Al Jazeera.